Hello, Harley Badger here. Uh, this video is dedicated to Bo Mitchell, and it explains how to refill the liquid in a lava light. Now, unfortunately at this time, I don't have any of my own lava lamps that need serviced, so I won't be able to demonstrate this because it would take me, obviously, two or three days to make this video. But I will explain the process and show you some pictures. Now, keep in mind, this process takes a long time. It's sort of like growing a plant. Uh, it may even take a day or two before you can get it just right. But here's what you're going to need. You're going to need your empty lava light, obviously with the wax still in the bottom. If you had to pour out the water, make sure that you save any of the wax that may come out and put it back in. You should have just an empty bottle with the wax and the metal spring at the bottom. You're going to need to buy distilled water. Make sure that it actually says distilled on the label or else it won't work. You need to buy clear dishwashing liquid. This is just an example. There's several brands out there. Usually they say like free and clear or whatever, but it's it's the clear dishwashing liquid. Because if you get Dawn or Palmolive, you're gonna have blue or green tinted water. You also wanna get Epsom salt. Make sure there's no added ingredients, just plain Epsom salt. Okay, first thing you do is you start with your empty bottle with the wax in the bottom. Fill it with distilled water but leave a couple of inches of empty space at the top. And don't worry, you can add, you can always fill it later. You want to add one teaspoon of your Epsom salt to the water inside the lamp and then sort of swirl it and gently shake it until the salt dissolves. You'll want to turn the lamp on and then walk away for about two hours. Just let it sit with the salt water in it for two hours. In the meantime, put some distilled water in a measuring cup and slowly stir in Epsom salt until no more will dissolve in the water. Now, when you stir it in, you'll know that it won't dissolve anymore when it looks sort of like this. This is your extra salt water. You're going to add a little tiny bit at a time in a moment. You can now put away your actual Epsom salt because you won't need it anymore. All you're going to use now is the salt water in the cup that you've made and the lava lamp, nothing else. You're going to want to add this salt water a teaspoon at a time. Just dip a teaspoon into the salt water and pour it into the lamp while it's on. I use a funnel to keep from dribbling it down the sides of the lamp. This adjusts the density of the water. Once you add that teaspoon, then you have to let it sit while it's on for an hour. Don't put any more than that at a time because if you add too much at once, you're going to end up having to dump it all out and start all over. If you have to turn off the lamp and and leave the house or go to bed or whatever, that's fine. You'll just have to resume by turning on the lamp and letting it sit for two hours again to let it get to operating temperature before you continue adding the salt water. Now, now that you've added one extra teaspoon of salt water and waited an hour with the lamp on, look at the wax at the bottom. If it looks like nothing has happened, then go ahead and add another teaspoon of your salt water and wait an hour again. Repeat this until you notice that the wax has formed into a dome at the bottom of the lamp like this. When you see that dome, add one more teaspoon of the salt water, wait one more hour, and you should notice that the wax has begun to float upward in one large blob like this. That's when your clear dishwashing liquid comes into place. You'll want to add one drop of the clear dishwashing liquid into the lamp and wait a few minutes, probably about 15, 20 minutes. 
Check the wax again and you should notice that it's begun to divide into smaller blobs like this. If it has not divided into smaller blobs like this, add one more drop of dishwashing liquid and wait several minutes again. Once you see that the wax has turned into the normal smaller blobs that you're used to seeing, then you're done. If you add too much detergent, that's a bad thing because it'll make it look like crap like this. So go slowly. Once you have your clear liquid with the normal looking waxy blobs moving around, you're ready to add the food color of your choice. So now, drop by drop, again, allowing time for it to mix, add one drop at a time of food coloring to achieve the desired color. Once your liquid is the color that you desire, then you're done. Just replace the cap and you're all set. I hope this was at least interesting and informative. If so, please give a like subscribe to our channel, visit us on Patreon. Thanks, and have a great day.